Hey guys, welcome back. Popping on to do a layout for the scrap room. I am using the Simple Stories collection called Simple Vintage Lakeside. And of course it's vintage-y, but there's this whole outdoorsy, the fish, the moose, the bear, the mushrooms, the whole thing vibe going on. And I keep looking at it and I'm like, I want to use this side, but I want to use this side, but I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a struggle sometimes. So let me show you my photo. I have this picture, which is a throwback pic of my two daughters and they were fishing and they're on a lake. So that's taking care of the lake side and they're fishing on a lake on my girlfriend's dock. So we have that. I've got the third of a sheet of these great banner stickers. So I'm gonna use both of these pieces right here I think this one will go here and this one will go here and have them go across the top. I know that I don't know a terribly big amount or I, I don't know what else I'm doing yet. I just know I love the idea of using these stickers. Okay, now I also have, come here little guy, come here. I've got some really nice vibrant enamel dots and I have got some of the ephemera die cuts. Let me see what they're called. They are the bits and pieces. And they're going to vary. These are a pack that's split up between a few different people. So I have some of them. Great. I have some black cardstock. And I've got three pieces of this gorgeous collection. So the way I think I'm going to start is I'm going to mat this piece called I Love This Place on top of Relax and Unwind because I like the wood grain vibe. Now the other thing is with the vintage collections a lot of times I come on in and I will ink up some of the bits with a nice brown ink so I'm going to have that handy dandy so I can do that. I just have to get a distressed oxide really quickly. So I'm going to get branding strip off. I'll gut this. Look at how cute that side is. Ooh, okay, I'll get this. I will mat this onto it. That will be great. I've got my photo. I'll figure out what I want to do with that. And I've got these pieces right here. We've got these cutout bits. Not sure what I'm putting in them yet, but I do know I want to use them. I will get my pop dots. They're not even called pop dots. What are they? What do we call 3D foam squares? Yes. I will pop up my goodies on some foam squares and maybe it'll give me a little bit more direction from there. I just want to see how those big banners look up top. Give me a moment. So I have my little banner pieces up on some of my foam strips as well as my foam squares. And what I think I'm going to do is cut out this piece right here that says explore more for the one with the bear and then this one what did i see that i liked oh where it reads lake days right here i think that would be pretty darn nifty so i'm going to go ahead and do that next so next i think i'm going to go ahead and mat my photo on this piece a nice little leftover bit maybe Maybe on the brown, then the blue side, I mean, you know, the plaid, and then a bit of this piece that's the three by four element sheet. So I can have a few cute mats. I think that's my next plan. So I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to start placing my cute little goodies. Where I, oh, I knew I had a little fishing lure. So there's different things. I can pop those things into my clusters up top. You know, if something doesn't work on the bottom, it can definitely do some good things on the top, like, hmm, like that, I think, this little fishy guy, oh, he goes like that, I think I'll go ahead and pop him up there, because, you know, why not, he's a fish, <laughs> he can go do his fish things, the lure can go right there, so all part of the fish stuff, I've got this cute little duck, which, of course, this lake has lots of ducks, and what else do we have going on? I've got these trees. I'll make sure to get those trees as well. <sighs> so much fun stuff. And then I think I'm gonna cut out a couple of these little buggy bits too. 
So I've got my work cut out for me. I'm gonna do all of that stuff, make sure to ink my edges, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so it's really coming together. I cut out my little butterfly. I don't, guys, are these moths or butterflies? I don't know. I know there's a way to tell, I don't know. So my little buggy friends are cut out. I was thinking maybe somewhere there-ish. I only cut out two because, where, where's my third one? Oh, because one's a die cut and I was like, oh great, so I can have three and that will work. I have that, got little buggy here. Um, I still have to get my fish up on a little bit of dimensional adhesive to make that just a little bit more interesting, but it's really coming together. I'm just doing all the inking and all that. So next, what I wanna do with you guys is build on this a little bit because clearly guys this is a done layout i think it looks great any of these things can be the title i mean sunshine and lake water is all i need that is definitely going on here somewhere because they're on a lake okay we've got this we've got that i'll ink that in in a moment and get this on there i was supposed to do that before i came back and i did not <laughs> okay so let's look at a pattern paper kit also known as the pattern paper kit. I like this mushroom background. I think it's very, very interesting. I definitely can mat a photo with that. Ooh, and this is very cool, but it might have too much going on. I wanna really be able to see these things. So maybe I'll mat my photo with a piece of this. But guys, I'm wondering, what if, what if we will do this together what if, I wanna see what this looks like. Watch out, little fishy. What if this went here? Oh, this doesn't really show up that well. I was just wondering how that would look. How would this look? I think these patterns have so much going on with them that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do another matting and have these pop well enough. Let me see. Oh, guys, oh, the other one's right here. Or are they showing up enough on the blue? What do you guys think? <laughs> I thought the mushrooms would be my winner, but I think it might be just a little bit too bold. So what I'm gonna do, they're on a dock, right? I think I'm going to do a little tear across with my mushroom paper right here. Now this, piece right here is cut at 10 and 10 and I'm sorry 11 and a half I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right at 11 and a half and give my layout a place to rest a place for my trees to hang out and all of that so that's how I'm gonna use that piece and I'm gonna go ahead and map my photo again in a bit of this okay I'll be right back so I'm super digging where we're going with that. I matted my photo in that. I've got my mushroom paper on the bottom. I saw this sticker right here that was in the Flavors of the Month kit with these pine trees. And I forgot that we talked about having them on here. So I'm thinking they're just gonna be on the other side right here. And that means I want to get this little fern thing out a little. Oh gosh, I stuck it down. I mean, it's a sticker. I want to pull that up just a little bit. Do I want? Ooh, do I want it on that side? No, I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna have it over here. So let's go ahead and pop that up. Um, just a little bit of dimension to keep it interesting. I like this fern getting to be the star of the show over here. Okay, awesome. And I definitely know I'm gonna come back and tuck some of these in, you know, by the time we're done. I did go ahead on this piece and I popped my fishy up and my little fishing lure as well. So that's working out. Enamel dots totally at the end. So let's take a look at the shots of light kit and see what we have. All right, so I've got two pieces with all kinds of great stickers on them, which are just awesome and i've got this piece here it's called four by six elements and it's this really great mustardy color with it with like a, a of this 
this kind of the smallest amount of green in it like the smallest smallest amount but definitely in the yellow family now i think i found the piece that i want to have for my background so what do we do with that we have all of this going on we're like oh my gosh you did all this what are you thinking it's okay i'm gonna just pop these little bits off they're not fully attached down yet i mean they're kind of stuck but not stuck stuck so let's move these bits aside. This piece is cut at, what do we say? 11 and a half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this at 11 and a quarter. I'm gonna pop it on the background, ink it in, and put everything back right where it was. Give me a moment. So I have everything is now attached down. I love it. I think it's so fun. Love the little duck. It's cute. So I wanted to look from the Shots of Life kit at these little wood slices and this page right here. Now I do see these little mushrooms and we've got mushrooms, we've got a compass and some ferns. I think that would work really well on this side. So yeah, at this point, I just get to decorate, which is super fun. And I still have to look at the embellishment kit. That's how I finish these, uh, this sequence of design team product. Oh, I ripped it guys. It stuck to my hand. Oh no. We're, we have total triage we have to do. You know what we can do? We can go like that. And nobody knows. You guys don't tell anybody that I wounded that poor little thing. Totally stuck to my hand. Anywho, so I don't know if you guys paid attention last month, but I did start with the Flavors of the Month kit, then went to the Pattern Paper Add-on kit, the Shots of Life kit, and then the Embellishment kit. And the premise is that you can get a really great layout with the one, but then you can add and add and add, and you just see where you go. And it's super fun to me to do it that way. Anywho, I'm pontificating. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Where well, I like that. Oops. Poor little ducky. I like this little lakeside word, but I did want to try to get this some more of the baby blue in because if you look at the water, it was so baby blue. Although I also have sunshine and lake water right here. Okay, I'm gonna grab it from here. I'm gonna ink it in, get a little bit of dimension on it and get that put on. And clearly my hands are not very moisturized if I could rip the paper that easily. So, ooh, I'm gonna put it right there. Yay! All right, let me get some of my little foam strips that are right here for the dimension with the dimension. And I'll pop that on, but yeah, you know, just keep decorating. It's kind of like Dory, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. That's all I'm doing, making it cute. So cute with different bits and pieces. And then you end up with a layout that you didn't even plan on. How awesome is that? All right, let me go like this. Love this little shot of light blue. There we go. Cute, cute. So I've got some more of that light blue. I definitely wanted to get as much in as I could because of how gorgeous the water was that day. We've got little fishies there. We have lake water, lake days. I think we kind of have the lake point. We did the lakiness. I do have a little ducky here. I wonder if we should sneak. No, he can't go there. Oh, he's kind of small on the scale, although next to the bear. And he's riding the wrong way on the bike. Okay, he's gonna have to wait for the next layout. All right, I'm gonna keep playing with this, see what else I can tuck in, I'll be right back. All right, so the last kit is the embellishment kit and we got a half of the package of the foam, the foam stickers, which is amazing to me. So let's see, I can bring in a lot of that baby blue if I do adventure. Outdoors, we, we weren't on a trail, explore the outdoors, wasn't really, you know, hiking or anything. So let's see 
Oh my, Lanta, isn't that perfect? Okay, let me see if I can tuck it a little bit so that the little ducky foot can be on it. And then I have to move the little buggy's hiney just a bit. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, I think that's perfect. That is great. It's a little offset. That's okay. Ugh, do I, do I want to move it? I kind of want to move it. Okay. Let's see if I can get it up without any big bendy marks. Ooh, it's good and sticky too. All right. It's cooperating. I have a little icky piece there, but it's going to get covered. It's fine. Let me stand up so I can get it centered just a little tiny bit better under the deck. So in theory, it's a little bit more like so. Okay, no big deal. Duck is still on. You can't see the little piece that got pulled up. So what else can we use from the embellishment sheet? Cute. <laughs> okay, I have this. What about my favorite place to be underneath it like a secondary title? That's cute. I do love wordy bits. Ooh, so, oh my gosh, guys, look at this dragonfly, but I had the different bugs on here. I've got so many different icons and things going on that that is a gorgeous piece. I feel like, I wish that one wasn't right there because I would so put it right there. I wonder if I can put it right here. Because I needed something, something else popped up because this had a couple of things. Oh my gosh, I love that dragonfly. Cute. Okay, I can get this little foamy piece here pointing to adventure. Love that. Is there anything else I want to stick on here? I'd use the N if we were up north, but we are not. I mean, I know it's just a directional thing, but you know. They were just like 15 minutes from my house. Totally a different thing. Okay, okay, okay. I love that piece. I'm wondering about going back to my original kit and cutting out just a few more little buggies and having them come up. I think I'm gonna do that. So guys, this thing is gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna cut out a few more buggies, pop them on there um, and get my enamel dots. I'll put the enamel dots on with you but maybe these mushrooms from the sheet because we have so many below. Oh, okay. I like that. So I'm going to get these three mushrooms on for sure. Look at the little frog. And that will make me happy. And then also this little buggy bit. I'm going to get them inked up, pop them up on something. It's going to be great but I do also want to cut out a few more of the little buggies. Oh, come here, sheet. From this sheet and pop them on. I'll be right back. So I said I was gonna cut out a bunch of the little buggies and I ended up not doing that. Once I put down my mushrooms and I moved that little bug up there, I kind of felt like my composition was working. So let's go ahead and just grab a few enamel dots. Where do we wanna put them? So what do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I can have like three sets of two. So why don't I have one here and one there? So I kind of have a one, two, three with that circular bit. And then I do like to tuck them as well. I think that they tend to be interesting when you do that. And then, let's see, I have there, there. Maybe just on that side. There we go. So that is this layout done. I had so much fun creating it. Layering all of the bits and pieces and getting some nice dimension there. Totally looks outdoorsy. We've got the foam on there. We have got stickers. Oh, so many good things. Okay. I'm going to have links down below for the Scrap Room Facebook group where we have challenges and all the fun going on to the website as well as the blog. And you guys can get your kids, of course, on the website and get lots of inspiration on the blog. And if you guys have any questions, leave it down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye for now.